thank you for clicking this video welcome to my space when i read the theme of this year's Met gala i was like nah we have to talk fashion like i'm not just going to be talking with my friends i'm going to bring it to the channel so we talk about it together if this is something you think you'll enjoy sit back relax and let's have a good time watching this video my name is stephanie and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform <laughs> So when I read it, same said and saw Karl Lagerfeld, I was like, we have to do this. Like I was so drawn to it, and the first thing that came to my mind, forget the line of beauty, Karl Lagerfeld on his own. Like I just thought of if I was going for this thing, I'll be thinking white, I'll be thinking blacks, I'll be thinking you know, elegance, I'll be thinking gloves, I'll be thinking tie, I'll be thinking structured, you know, fierce and stuff like that. So I said, let's go into the red carpet and see what I mean, white carpets. I see what the people were. First of all, the host, as usual, is usually Anna Winter, and then she had co hosts Mikala Coel, Penelope Cruz, the tennis guru, my boo, Roger Fedra, and then we also had singer Dua Lipa, and um, Lala Anthony was in charge of the live stream side of things. So, yeah, these were your hosts for the show. So, obviously, with every theme the show, there are people who go with the theme, there are people who hit when they go with the theme, there are people who miss when they go with the theme, there are people who get so creative when they go with the theme. We're going to start with my hits. I think there are about five or six looks I really, in fact, there are a lot of looks I really like, but I try to structure them into hits and then some people that went creative, like, obviously when you're thinking Chanel, you're thinking um, tweed, you're thinking some structure, you're thinking embellishment, you're thinking bride. That's one thing I didn't think about. I didn't even think about the Chanel bride, but that was something I saw from the red and white carpet and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. The first hit for me was Chloe Feynman. I don't even know who she is, but I just saw this girl looking so glorious in an elegant dress. She gave us shoulder. Her age looks like she's young. What she wore was so damn appropriate. Like, look at the shoulder of this dress, the ruffles, the purple, the skirt. The midi skirt looks like my skirt from Jada Woman. Shout out to you, Jada Woman. She makes elegant dresses and she's Nigerian. So yeah, I just love what she was giving. I don't even know if this is a dress or is a top and um, skirt. Look at that purse. Like, everything was just giving. The next on my hit list is Cardi B. Cardi B wore what if I was going to this event, I would wear. The, one of the Halloweens where I looked, I dressed like Kalaga Field and I went with the grey hair. I wore a suit. I wore that glove thing and dark glasses. So what Cardi B wore was just giving because he just gave me Karl Lagerfeld and he just reminded me of myself so much. So yeah, Cardi B is on our hit list. Next on this hit list is this actor, K. Hu Kwan. To be honest, I don't know who that actor is, but I just love how he channeled Karl Lagerfeld with those fingerless gloves and elegant glasses and, you know, tailored look shirts and he was just looking so bonds. I know that was kind of a lazy thing to do because obviously who doesn't wear so it doesn't matter but his look was hard and has a way she gave me tweet guys like her own he was embellished he had safety pin details he had a long train he had jackets he had armbands he was fierce he gave me a cow he gave me shit another tweet look i like was one by jenna ortega so that one he gave ruffles like he gave details bow tie high lobe you know look looking at crop jackets long coat at the back there was no corsets there was two it was beautiful. One person I looked forward to when I remembered, you know, Carl, Chanel and everything was Kristen Stewart. That girl is effortless. And when I saw her look, I was impressed again. She gave us a crop tuxedo, white jacket with black lapel, loose, you know, two quarter pants. I think her shoes, like, she just breathed. She looks like those kind of that grace just falls on naturally in life. And then on the red carpet, she gave, oozed confidence, oozed like flawlessness. I just really, really loved if. I would say top three. I think she'll be one of my top three looks. Next was Kara. I was so impressed. I'm sure like if Kara Lagerfeld looks at the show, she'll just be smiling. Like her outfit was just kind of like when a muse says, okay, today I'm going to give an ode to my master, to my artist. She was one person he really, really loved. He, he worked, I think he was one of the people that actually made that girl shine like in her career. And then she just gave us crisp white shirt in a lovely way. Like the dress, the shirt looked like a cape. So she gave us his look, but you know, she made it her own. Stood posed so nicely, her face, her hair. And so when dark glasses, she, you know, she had that the whole dark eye look. I loved Kara, like cheers to you, babe. I really loved it. My next section will be pearls, crystals, and embellishments, gemstones, because that's something Chanel is also known for. And obviously, Carl Lagerfeld being the creative director of Chanel, we're going to be thinking a lot of Chanel. Look at my earring here, guys. I'm giving as well. My first fave is Michael Coel's look. First of all, 
I follow Benisha Boateng on Instagram and she had been fla flaunting this babe, like her skin oil, like her whole makeup. Like she, I think she's the one that was in charge of her for the Met Gala. So I was really wasting to see and I was not disappointed. She had embellishments, her skin was shining. And she was just radiating glory of God. So I was so happy to see. And she was a co-host as well for this Met. So applause to you, Benis. Applause to you, Michaela. I love, love, loved your look. The next person on this list of embellishments and beads and stuff is Kim Kardashian. I wouldn't say I was impressed with Kim Kardashian's look, to be honest, because it just looked basic. I know, obviously, the beads, they probably mean something, but it just gave me the regular Kim. Like, normally she would go out of her way. You know, last year she did the Maroni Maru outfit where she, she apparently did she returned it was broken or whatever, but you know, she didn't. I don't think, I think she just chilled with this one. So she just giving me a normal Kim. Like, she was standing with her sisters, and I was just loving, like, you look at the three of them. Even Kylie wasn't giving. I was just looking at Kendall. So the next person now will be saying is Kendall because she gave us embellishment. She gave us Chanel. She gave us structure. She gave us that, that ah, nah, nah, nah. Kendall. Lizo. Lizo gave us the beaded beauty glory of God. Like she was sleeveless. And you think when someone like this wearing sleeveless, it wouldn't be giving, but she gave. Like I loved Lizo's look. It was black, it was white. It gave us elegance and it gave us like the whole beaded, um, decadent kind of look, you know, and yeah. I totally, totally loved. Next is Lil Nas, guys. I do understand that like, if, if you ever come to Covent Garden, you know, even any place where they do, where you see like tourists, you know, it's people that be doing dancing with like paint on their body, looking gold or silver. That's what that guy was giving. Obviously, if you look, you look at the body, the painting, whatever, you see there were like details of, you know, beaded, you know, shimmers, just this section we are in. But it was looking very trashy, like it was just walking up and down. Doing, yes, thanks to creativity, that's what I'm mentioning him. But, that was such a, I don't know, miss. Last on this section, I'll give it to Lala Anthony. I thought her outfit was okay for the most. I wouldn't say it was amazing because I just thought she could do better. I didn't think the glasses looked expensive or shiny. I don't even know what brand it is, but it looked like really cheap glasses. But I just want to mention her because she was a co-host and she's one of the okay outfits, you know, in this particular section. I'm talking about so that's it for this section let's move to the next one for the next one let's just go straight into the misses and unfortunately the first person i'm going to be calling is anna winter guys i don't know what she was wearing like seriously it was obviously it looked expensive but it didn't it didn't give like it didn't give carl i don't think carl would have liked i don't know i don't know but it didn't give at all the only thing i'll say gave i was actually looking for an, a picture with only her so i'll see if maybe you know there's way someone will stand and they have to give but she came with someone and literally I'll say that person was just her accessory or maybe her handbag or something, but the person was looking dapper and nice. Let's just say her accessory was looking good, but herself, nah, it wasn't given for this event. Next, Bad Bunny. I'm not even sure if this person really attended because I saw this picture in only one place, like only one publication had this Bad Bunny, but the outfit was a mess. It was a guy, he's a guy obviously, it, it was like a tuxedo or a suit or whatever, backless, you know, had like a flowing, foamy, plump, train like i didn't get that as well and i thought that was such a horrible one a horrible horrible miss the next one was someone called pedro pascal guys first of all the shorts the legs you know, now into instagram bulls like <laughs> i don't know you're just giving instagram daddy yo or i don't know just someone who should just chill in one corner and be drinking i don't even know what that look was giving but he didn't give me palatable he did not give me elegance he did not give me dapper he gave me nothing just gave me confidence that you know someone dressed like that and be feeling very and it was not just so colorful the last one for my miss is actually someone called jenny king when i saw this outfit the first time it looked horrible i think it's the way she was standing and i was like okay definitely a miss and i wrote it down so i saw other pictures and i guess it was looking actually better and that's the picture i'm putting here now it looked nice but i was just thinking this girl looks really really young and then look at her outfit looking like actually actually it was made for her so it's looking like a chanel parcel she should have just lost those tights, like even those shoes. They just look like she just look like those people that are just trying to go out with something um, short and they don't want to open their legs. Like it wasn't called for that black, really dark. Or maybe if I want something lighter with lighter demure, it would have looked better. So the dress on its own actually looked cute. Even her, she looks so cute. Who tried to pay homage to Carl's cat, the Jack cat? She got everything from the head, the ears, whatever that is, whiskers, whatever. You know, she had something in the nose, the um, forehead thing, her eyes were looking like cat eyes. She embodied true pets of the cat. Like, I love, love, love the cat's look. Jared Leto, almost, I don't understand what he was doing. You know how you even see unwearable fashion? 
she's almost just too much she was looking like a, i don't know just a very big cat really just someone you just want to hug and sleep on he <laughs> didn't look elegant at all didn't look dapper so i guess his own was more on the human side but we still give him um an a for effort for creativity and just thinking about the cat show pets okay we all love a pregnancy announcement obviously during the super bowl we saw rihanna and rihanna was here as well but i'm not going to put her in this pregnancy section because there were new people who we did not know were pregnant like serena williams so she gave us a pregnancy announcement in her bump wore well, this black outfit if she didn't do this pregnancy announcement i don't think i'll be mentioning her because the outfit was just there and it announced a second baby and we're so excited to see that another person who looks so gorgeous with the bump was Kali Claus. She came a partner and looks so lovely in her black Dread. Talking about pregnancies and talking about people who came with their partners, these two pregnant ladies came with their partners. Obviously, Rihanna as well. We're going to go into people that gave us a bit of couple goals. Guys, I didn't even know Rita Ora was married, you know, but she came with um, her husband Taika. And apparently she's even released a new album recently and he wore this lovely grey coat dress with black lapels. We had a young Miami and Sean Didi. I don't know if they're dating or whatever. I really don't know the story of all this dating pop culture and stuff because I really don't like to put my mind to that. But two of them look good. I really love the contrast with their outfits. They were both exaggerated outfits but they still looked very good together. Obviously, um, Young Miami had the whole beaded embellishment thing. So if she had ever seen a picture of her alone, I'm sure I would have mentioned her because I loved how she looked. But a lot of people took this, one of the trends of, you know, spring, summer, this share trend. I talked about it in a video that's coming very soon. And that's the only trend I really don't like. Like, that night where, in fact, we'll talk about it in that video. But yeah, I thought her and Didi looked, um, her and Sean Combs, whatever his name is right now, looks good and worthy of being mentioned. Last but not the least, it's not actually a cop. So Jeremy Scott came with someone who he had dressed, Devon Ayoki. They looked so good. They're not a couple, but I don't know if they're a couple or whatever, but they actually just looked good. Like the outfits match each other. It looked true to the theme, structure, elegance. You know, Karl Lagerfeld, I think, would be impressed with the look both of them proved. Next, I'm going to talk about Bryce. As I said, Chanel Bryce is a thing for Karl Lagerfeld. He used to end the shows a lot with, you know, people wearing bridal look. Our first bride is Penelope Chris and she looked stunning. She was actually wearing an old um, Chanel bridal dress, which had a veil in form of a hood. And it was still looking very elegant. Dua Lipa on my day. She actually wore a Chanel 1992 dress that was worn by Claudia Schiffer. There is actually a picture of um, Carl and Claudia in that particular dress. And then she looked so beautiful in a dress of Venna. Like this dress looked stunning on Dua Lipa. She carried it so well. She wore diamonds that had never been worn before. Next was this model called Anton Mason. Never heard of him before. Not like I know what the model was. But I'll give him props, you know, for thinking of this bridal theme. But I did not like the outfit. Like, the share was too much. This same trend I'm talking about that we're going to discuss in another video. He wore his chest just showing up and down the whole place. The trouser was lace. Like, even when the girl wears lace trousers, it's annoying. <laughs> but now imagine the guy wearing it. So that was such a miss to me. Like, it didn't just suit him. I didn't think it suited him at all. This is my last bride who is also going to be the star of my show, who I'm going to end this video with is Rihanna. Like that babe came as a bride, came as a mom, also came to get married there because there was a point where they were standing and Isaac now raised up the way, you know, that kind of make his original laugh, took off her glasses like... gave me everything so Rihanna was my top 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 one for this show the girl knows how to make statements in any way shape form and Isaac was just there looking he showed this Scottish I don't know the Scottish thing but this short bread print and he was just standing there just smiling just having fun he was just nice obviously I also like the caption Serena put on her Instagram saying thanks Anna for inviting three of us Anna looked and saw to me so that was another nice thing yeah that's it guys for everything I hope you enjoyed this review and let me know if you want me to do more. See my eyes now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Click the thumb up button. Drop a comment because I love to read from you. Share this video with your friends, your family and your enemies. I'll see you in the next episode guys. Bye bye.